friend of mine who's having a baby shower this weekend. I'm making a baby mobile. So I've got all of my wire wrapping materials. It's a mess. I'm a bit of a crafty mess. It's a nice little hodgepodge of hobbies over here. I have this bag of wood beads. Oh my gosh, there's so many pretty ones. There's my little stash of wood beads that I found. I think I really like all of these colors. Look at how beautiful that color is. I'm taking a little break from crafting so I can enjoy the weather for the evening. Sometimes I think that iced tea is almost better than hot tea. During this time of year, definitely. I have these plastic mirrors. I've had them for quite some time. I thought these would be perfect outside. They're plastic, they're cute and small. These are really only for decorative purposes anyways, in my opinion, because they're so small. I love mirrors, they're so cool. You can see the other mirror right here. So I gotta figure out where I want them to go. This marigold decided to unfurl itself this morning. I love this color, it's gorgeous. Here's another marigold blooming and then all of this chamomile, holy shit. Wild, <laughs> in the best way possible. I think it's time for these things to be transplanted somewhere else. <laughs> but we've got some blooms that want to sprout and then this one decided to sprout. I'm going to transplant these after I put up my mirrors. Oh yes, I also made hummingbird water so I need to fill up my hummingbird feeders. I don't hate it. Hmm. I have these random nails on the wall already, so I'm just gonna look and see. You know, it actually doesn't look too shabby on the shed. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Let me look at it on this side. I just want to see. I put that mirror there so then you could see the reflection of the flowers. I put this mirror here then you'll just get a different perspective which is really fascinating oh it's a little high just a tad too high just a tad when did i become a perfectionist Third time's the charm, or this could be the fifth time, I don't know.
Oh, mm. the smell of earth. <laughs> That light is pretty. <laughs> so I had a really bad hail storm the other night and it obliterated my basket of lettuce. So I'm just gonna put these pansies in there. Cute. I'm putting the tomato leaves in the compost. I love gardening and ground. I personally think that it makes the soil grow more. Or I mean, it livens up the soil. It takes some time, that's for sure. But um, I'm grateful that this year I've been able to plant in this section of the yard. And the dirt is just phenomenal over here. I'm planting them next to my nasturtiums and my oregano and also in front of my tomatoes. You can eat pansies. All of my edible flowers are gonna hang out in this arena. I have some perennials over here. I love the sound of the train. It's nostalgic. Hello. You are so beautiful. He's big chillin. He's so cute. I'm going to see if he'll crawl on this leaf. There you go, buddy. <laughs> what a cool animal insect, I'm sorry. You wanna hang out in the woodland garden? There's a lot of interesting things over here. That was cool. I went to put my phone on the tripod and he was just chilling. So I put him over there by the perennial plants and the tomatoes. It's the next day, of course, and it held up perfectly. Last step is to attach this swivel ring around here. And then I'm going to wrap the stones so then I can make sure that it gets to the party in one piece. Today has been kind of like an office day for me. I've been focusing on creating some content for my little boutique. Posted onto TikTok, I posted a reel onto my Instagram, and I'm just finding my balance. It sounds silly, but it's been a journey nonetheless. <laughs> I really love this, honestly. Some wood beads. This stone called Sodalite. I always call it so delightful, and that's how I remember it, but it's called Sodalite. A gorgeous turquoise stone. 
This is an agate, this gorgeous quartz crystal shard. I also added two amethyst, which this one is a gorgeous raw cluster amethyst. Right here is actually heat treated amethyst. So it looks like citrine. Sometimes you just find heat treated amethyst instead of citrine. Good morning. I need to figure out what to wear, so I'm gonna put everything on and see how everything looks and determine what in the world I'm gonna wear for this baby shower. It's over the moon, so I would love to look celestial. Let's just see what we can conjure up. Outfit number one. I do love this part. Like this, this is what I really wanna wear. Yes, this dress is such a beautiful color, but I just don't think that it's very comfortable to wear. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say no to the dress. Option two, I have this really cute moon belt and I would love to be able to wear this. Well, since it's gonna be hot, I managed to find this really cute top. I love this top. I am going to pair moons with flowers. They can go hand in hand, right? It's got a little bit of floral, and then we still have an element of the theme. I, I actually really do like this one. <laughs> I think it almost looks better as a dress than it looks with anything else. And even with the belt, it looks pretty cute. And I've got this little dangle. This is the dress, this is what we're wearing today. It's perfect for summer. It's going to be a high of 85 today. Something I like to do in the house, I have this really cool piece that I found in Thailand. And at nighttime, I'll flip it to the moon. And then in the daytime, I flip it to the sun. It's just one of those silly, sweet routines to do in life, you know. here and get the garden going for the day. Cheers to that. Cheers to wellness and getting back in gear. Until next time.